Cocktails 46, 546 a.m. on June 2nd, 2021. And it's uh, sun's not up yet, getting the day started. Another hot day today. I'm not sure what the temperature is forecast to be, but I did check this morning to find out that summer doesn't begin for another 18 days on June 20th in the Northern Hemisphere. So yeah, wow, what 106 yesterday, and I think we're similar today. I, I'm gonna back up to a time slip that I did yesterday. It's the 52 minute time slip because I didn't scroll down in the time slip and there's another piece in there that's worth mentioning. This is for the law office, Papa, and working for Mike is working after hours remotely and the sentence or the phrase that I neglected to comment about was configured annex downstairs printer and scanner. Now in this office I've commented before that they have two buildings on the same property. I refer to one as east and the other as west. Sometimes we use the word annex because it was built at well. It, it was a two-story old house that was converted to an office building. But the printers, uh, these are Toshiba copy machines. They have four of them between the two buildings. There is a Toshiba copier on the downstairs floor of each of the buildings and one on the upstairs floor each of the buildings. Sometime in the past, I was able to use more generic methods of configuring those printers like uh, using Windows key run, type in the IP address and the driver would automatically load. That doesn't work anymore. There have been times in the past when I had a bit of a struggle to figure out what is the right way to install the printer drivers because they kind of migrate over time. Now the way they've been for the last few years, the most right way to do it is to go to the website of the local vendor for Toshiba, the company that actually installs the computers and get the, uh, the printers copy machines and in download and install their uh, printer driver installation utility. And there's been times when a new copy machine is put into the office and I don't know about it and I'm not aware that I need to download their new installation utility. I download the utility, put it onto the server, and then anytime I need to configure that on a computer, I just copy it from my folder on the server to the local workstation and run it. So in this instance, that's what I did. I, down I downloaded that from my folder on the server, on our server, my client server, and ran it. And the copier that this person needed, meaning the one that's downstairs in the annex or the West building, it would not detect that copier. Kind of scratched my head, what, what's up with this? I tried the pinging it at the IP address and it's there. So I went to the vendor's website, downloaded the most current utility and found that, yes, indeed, it found it. So the lesson is if it's not working, if I can't configure any of the four copiers, then download the new one. So I think what happens is when the tech comes in and installs the new copier, the, the tech must go around to the computers that are in that area and configure them, but they don't know to put their utility in the folder that I use on the server. So that has from time to time been uh, a little bit of a struggle. I don't get very good communication from the copy machine technicians uh, to me. But I, uh, to, to be fair, I haven't instructed my clients, be sure to tell them to let me know. I just work around it and, and get it done and it hasn't been too crazy. Now, the way I learned that in the past is I would just call the vendor and ask them, I can't configure this, where do I get it? And they would tell me on their website and so then I don't have to call them in the next future update they do. I just assume that's the issue. And they're, they're good, they, 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 
they're very responsive and um, I, that's not a complaint is what I'm saying. They're fine doing the doing it the way they do it. So then um, getting back to the time slip that would be the next one in the list. This is for Wednesday, May 19th, seven minutes for the CPA office, Romeo, for a hotel in the office, phone conversation, uh, 944 to 950 AM, phone conversation regarding migrating internal company documents to electronic storage, recommended scanning documents and using secure storage location within Microsoft Teams, deferring to Tango's, Tango's knowledge of Teams features. This will be more convenient, stable, and secure rather than storing on the local file server. So the question she was asking had to do with the physical documents that they have in their office. They want to convert them to electronic storage so they can get rid of the physical documents. These are documents that they're not trying so much to protect from outside prying eyes, but from internal prying eyes. They don't want their employees coming across these documents. So they'd be administration level documents, I suppose. I'll say, and so they've, I didn't know it at this point in time. I think they've mentioned it to me in the past, but it wasn't on my consciousness that they've been scanning obsolete client files, I should say prior year client files, and storing them on the server so they could get rid of the physical documents. And so this question was regarding the internal administration files. And I didn't understand that when she first sent me a text, text message. She sent me a text message that was fairly... Uh, um, what? Okay, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and, and look it up here since I apparently picked up the phone <laughs> and started looking up that text. And the reason why I think it's significant to do this is because it was it would have been easy to misunderstand the question in this text message. Um... Just to do, well, now that's interesting. I guess it wasn't there. Was it an actual email? Am I going to regret going off and looking for this? Yeah, okay. So it was an email. I was wondering what you would suggest regarding saving our confidential firm information on the computer now that we're trying to do everything electronic. Obviously, we don't want employees to have access, but Tango, Romeo, and I will need to have access, your thoughts. So, confidential firm information, I, I thought they're referring to their company or they're referring to their client firms. Um, and I thought it would be their company, but anyway, it just seemed a little odd. I didn't... I wasn't confident that I knew. So I replied to her, please call me to discuss what information you're interested in protecting. So it turns out she wants to scan the documents and store them somewhere that makes sense. I did not think that their local file server would be a good place to do that because we don't have it configured for security from each other. We have configured for security from the outside. So they could put some kind of password protection on the individual scan files, or we could create a folder that is going to be protected, but then that means we've got to change security practices for all of them. And then my thoughts turn to cloud storage. We don't use OneDrive in the office. Well, we do use it just for transferring files to and from clients, their clients. But what they do use is Microsoft Teams. I'm not very up to speed on Microsoft Teams. This is the only office I have using Microsoft Teams. And the reason for that is that Tango in their office is a new partner 
in the firm. He's been a partner for over a year, but that qualifies as new since this client goes back 30 years with me. And he's very familiar with teams because the office that he worked in prior to becoming a partner here. Now he's family with the owners of the company, but he went through college, degreed as a CPA, worked in a big firm in a big town, and became acquainted with Teams. So he has implemented Teams in the office. And I thought that was the most sensible place to, to store that. And I'm in the time slip and in my conversation with her, I said, you should talk with him about that. I'll, I'm sure there's a way within Teams to do that adequately. All right, so I got kind of caught up there in a, in a couple of time slips. So we're gonna wrap that up here, make sure I didn't miss something. I'll scroll down. Um, yeah, so that, that's it. So I hope that was useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.